Oh shit, dude. Did you so uh Burger King home of the Whopper? Yes. Has a UK United Kingdom Twitter account. Did you see the the shit they were posting on Twitter this past week? By chance? I saw the one post that was like let's, blowing up. Let's which uh was hilarious. Yeah. Uh let's uh I'm gonna pull this up first before we dive uh, too much deeper into this. What's funniest to me about this is it has to go through like multiple layers before like like you know it's not just like one dude like I if know. you were running your Twitter account like it's just you like for a major corporation you know it's like there's like one dude that's thinking about it they have to go up to another dude and probably like a third dude before it's like okay you know yeah it's uh it's pretty incredible <laughs> When you think about, yeah, like you said, how many fucking layers this shit had to go through? They're like, yeah, this is great. This is great. This Someone is great. This thought is great. of this. They had to give a probably very long presentation on it, probably to multiple different individuals within the company, multiple different levels, VPs, C levels, etc. And every single one of them said, yeah, we're going to do this. This is a good idea. And this is what they did. Like, damn. Women son. belong in the kitchen. That was the first one I saw. <laughs> yeah, well, the funniest part is like like um the actual like punchline is in the like replies or whatever. Right. And that's when I saw this, women belong in the kitchen, I was like uh I thought it was one of those troll accounts, like a parody account where they'll change their like logo and name to look like it's a actual brand. And then I yeah. saw the check mark and I was like, oh shit, Burger King is fucking flying off the rails, apparently, in the UK. And then, yeah, when you look at the replies, it's like uh, something about how there's not as many women in the kitchen. Oh, uh, women belong in the kitchen if they want to, of course, yet only 20% of chefs are women. We're on a mission to change the gender ratio in the restaurant industry by empowering female employees with the opportunity to pursue a culinary career, International Women's Day. Um, and then they followed that up with, we're launching a new scholarship program, which will help female Burger King employees pursue their culinary dreams. So I didn't think that was that bad personally. Oh, I just, I need to move this over, don't I? Whoopsie. There, there you can see it. I didn't think that this was that bad. Like when I read through the replies and everything, I was like, okay, this is a pretty good marketing scheme because it it captures outrage and then funnels it into a cause that you know is pretty justified and yeah. they have an action item on it pretty solid marketing campaign and then <laughs> i guess you you know where this is going right you know what the other one is right the second one that they did i think so uh fuck gay people Fuck gay people. That's the next one they did. Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it depends on how it's worded. I did see that, but like, I didn't see the actual tweet. It's here. Let me share the image because if it's uh, just like, you know, have sex with gay people, you know, hey. No, it's definitely worded in that it's like uh, meant to be offensive, you know, like it's like. Because the next, the next uh, tweet, and you can see part of the reply here, is that fuck gay people is what homophobes say, but us? No way. In fact, we're starting an initiative to hire more LGBTQ plus than ever. Plus uh, scholarship in culinary shit, whatever. But <laughs> I'd say this one kind of crossed the line a little bit. <laughs> I like that it's, they, they tweeted fuck gay people. And then they say, that's what homophobes say, but that's not what we said. Yet they're replying to a tweet where they said, fuck gay people. It's like, uh, something, something is messed you know up in the you logic there. You know what's there. funnier about this to me? What's that? It's got 570 likes, million or thousand likes. Yeah. 570,000 likes. Yeah. And I bet most of these likes are not people that, uh, 
support the LGBTQ community. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I was very shocked to see this. It's, it's, again, it's the thing where it's like, there are so many levels that you have to get through to get something like this out. And they did. They, They mean... I wonder if they UK persevered. had to run it by the US, you know, company. Yeah, I don't know. And the US company signed off on it as well. They're like, oh, yeah, this is going to go over great, guys. Write a tweet that says, fuck gay people. Make sure you put two exclamation marks on it. That's going to do well. It's like, <laughs> um. Three is too many, but two is just the right amount. I wonder who wrote this like actual tweet. Like, I would, I'd like to talk to the person who's like in charge of writing the tweets. Their head. Yeah, because I wonder if they have much of a say in it, or if they're just like they just get fed tweets and they just write it up and they just post it. You know, like if they were typing this and they're like, "Fuck, gay- are you sure about this?" And they're like, "Yeah, we want you to do a tweet that says fuck gay people," and they're like, "Fuck gay people, yeah, sure, uh, okay, um, post it." More like, uh. Okay, that one's not real. Okay. See, this is the thing. Now there's going to be, like, tweets where they're just saying, fuck everybody, and you're not going to know if they actually posted that or not. What is this? There's more... There's more articles about... the, the women tweet than there is about the fuck gay people tweet. I didn't think the woman tweet was that bad. The women's... or whatever. Let's see what this one is. I mean, it wasn't, like, the totality of it wasn't bad, but you can't just, like, you know, right. open it up with... The, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the, the, whatever, the pre, the the first action that was taken, not the yeah. best idea, <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this article doesn't really say much about it. Last time you had Burger King, dude, it's been a long time. I probably will never go to Burger King again. Like, I have no inclination or desire to go. I'm kind of curious if this is just to like bring them back into like relevancy. Could be, but why, why the UK tweet? Like, why the UK account? Why wouldn't they do that in the US? Yeah. You know? I don't know. It's like we don't care about the England one. We can lose it if if it goes bad, maybe. They um, just to jump back, they did defend their social media move. They said, "Why would we delete a tweet that's drawing attention to a huge lack of female representation in our industry? We thought you'd be on board with this as well. We've launched a scholarship to give more of our female employees the chance to pursue a culinary career." Um. Wow, so they're just playing the reverse Uno card. Yeah, they're pretty just much. like you're calling us misogynists. No, you're misogynists. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Is the gay people one not real? I know I saw that on social media. I'm very almost very certain. Maybe it's a meme. You're fooled. Dude, you know? I bet you got like memed. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure they actually, like, actually posted that. I, cause I saw it on Twitter. That's where I first saw it. I don't know. I can't find any articles that are actually confirming this. Is there anybody watching that knows? Cause I want to know for sure whether or not this is real. I swear, dude. I swear I saw this on Twitter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick by that. So I, pretty sure it's real. Okay, well, I mean, Twitter's <laughs> never wrong, so... I mean, if it's on the internet, it's true, so... I think it should be, have it her way. Let's be honest. It should have been. That, that would have been a much... Holy shit, that would have been a much better marketing move for them to do. Just say, yes, have it her way. for marketing. Like, that's so simple, right? Instead of women belong in the kitchen. What a What a wild time to be alive, where we have companies... Ironically, proclaiming homophobic and misogynistic jokes on Twitter. 